want to hit first? Yeah, we can hit. You want me to hit it for real? Ooh. <laughs> he says for real, so I got to speed it up a little. Ooh. Big ball is back, baby. Teach me how to shoot. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, yeah, that's how quick it is. Oh, you're going to be a cowboy and eight after this. Look out. Yeah, I'm learning. House guest, let's get it. All the way in Louisiana, I had to pull up on Miss Jimmy Finch, professional softball, one of the goats, one of the greats. I mean, it's a lot of land out here, so I'm trying to figure out where, where the crib is. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, see, look. This is it. I didn't right walk here. past the crib. We're kind of crazy. We live in a metal building. How are you? Good. How are you? Welcome. I'm good. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks How you been? For coming. Oh, I got some again. sweet tea and gumbo. Sweet tea? Oh, let's, let's get go. it. Yes, oh, yeah. So you come from the South. Definitely got to have a sweet tea. Welcome. Thank you. How did a Cali girl end up all the way in the South? I know, right? You're telling me. <laughs> That's what love will do to it you. It sounds like you got, you said y'all, so you got the accent for sure now. Yes. How you like it out this way? I love it. I love it. So my husband was born and raised right here in Sulphur, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wasn't getting a southern boy to Southern California. So <laughs> you, you had to come here. That oh, wasn't okay. happening, yes. Sacrifice. So here we are. Nice. This yeah. is beautiful. So this is the uh, the play area. Play this area. Is where it all goes down. Yeah, this is where I will be at for sure. Trampoline, full court here. basketball court. Uh, so do you pitch with your son? Your son get hits off you? I do, yet? I do. I haven't like thrown full out, but I keep him humble. What was that like when that championship? That was the best, a dream. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go to Arizona because I think they had five national championships at that time. So you, you envision like that's what you want to do. Yeah, you know, you want to compete. You want to be the last team standing. And 3,500 people came out to watch us play pretty much every game. And you know, you walk around town and it's like you're it. And it's like, I play softball, you know. Right. But first time like, Jenny, can I have your autograph? I was like, I just, oh. I just pitch, you know, I just play softball. But in a small town, you know, they appreciate that. And you can really make an impact in the community, right. which was great. Um, it was my junior year. We had eight seniors that year, and they would have been the first class to not win a national championship at Arizona. Oh, Talk about wow. pressure, yeah, right? And so right? to be able to send them off the with right the way. championship, yeah. oh, it was the best. It was the best. Can I bring you out of retirement one time? Oh. And see you underhand one? Knock the dust off of it? Yeah, a little bit. Can I? We can try can a little bit. That? I want to see that. See, I want to play basketball. He wants to hit, huh? You want to hit first? Yeah, we can hit. Uh. See that jump shot? See, I was a post. Uh, buckets. You oh. play, I mean, you should have went to college no. and played at Arizona. No, no. Yeah, you could have played. Oh, I could have. Well, I like to think I could have. One of my best friends was a sprinter. And so I would be at the end, take the ball, and I would just, just chuck it down the court, right? Yeah. My arm, her speed, every time. Oh, so you guys were like the Kevin Love and LeBron James. That's right. Can't That's take right. the ball out and just yep. catch the ball and lay it up. Ooh, strike. That was sweet. So you're telling me you're not about to go play in the Olympics? No, Oh no. my God, they need you. Your favorite strikeout? Ooh. Per any person in particular, like somebody that you just, I just had to strike her out. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. I like that. Oh. Every, every strikeout counts, right? Absolutely, I hate to lose. Oh. Keep that front shoulder in. Front shoulder in. Ugh. There, yeah. look. There it is. <laughs> that front shoulder has to stay in, this? in, in, front, yeah. No, 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 oh, front one. Is... Yeah, so if that opens up, then you lose it, right? So front shoulder in, drive through it. Woo! Yeah. Okay, see that? Good tips. Boom. So where we headed? Right, let's go to the ranch. To the ranch. Yeah. And what we riding on? A four-wheeler? You I'm good? With it. Yeah, of course. All right, let's roll. How can you not be with it? I'm with this. Got my boots on, let's do this. Let's get it. So forward, brake. Yes, gas, brake. If you so release move. the gas, you stop I have you. a question, what is that little, what's this, this brake It's an extra brake if you need it, but you All don't right, need bet. it. Just the handbrake's good. This is so cool. So this is how you guys ride? 
This is, this Across is sick. the street. <laughs> Y'all take me to the store. Parents. I'm driving this on the road. <laughs> this is sweet. All right, so this is our future homestead. It's beautiful. Look at this view. No, I love it. This is one of my favorite spots. So we're gonna move this cabin to the back as a guest house. Okay. And then uh, like the whole house itself. Like yeah. I don't know how, but y'all figure it out. These amazing people come in and move the, it, the, I guess. the whole house. And then our house pad will be right here on the peninsula. So we'll have 180 degree water around us, and this will be just a massive pond. And so jet skis can fit on this too. Well, it's not full yet, so it will drain it out. My husband kind of makes his own little aquarium, mm -hmm. pretty much. Fish beds and such. And then we'll fill it back up, stock it, and be ready to go. I'm trying to yeah, talk into a zip line well, all the way across. Hey, hey <laughs> yes, I like that. Right? So then I'll be back for sure okay, with the okay. zip line. Definitely get the zip the line. Cabin's yours. <laughs> anytime, anytime the zip, you want The zip line, I need that. <laughs> So this is our guest house. So if you come back, yes, this please. will be yours. Oh, this is cabin cabin life. This is. For real for real. With the animals and all. This is awesome. This is my husband's trophy room. Collector, huh? Yeah, we have a full got the cool chandeliers. bear mount that's coming. And a uh, wolf. He just got a wolf in Canada. Oh, word. <laughs> yes, crazy. I'm like, keep him at the cabin. <laughs> keep him at the cabin. <laughs> Do you have like a most proud moment? Just of your career in general, like so many. I think um, I think just being a female athlete, and like I said, who did you look up to growing up? It was male athletes because you didn't have a chance to see them or know who they are. You know, it was college, and then every four years you got to see female athletes in the Olympics, but right. there weren't professional leagues. So as I got older, I think just seeing females have an opportunity to excel and play the game and um, play professionally in the National Pro Fast Pitch League. And for me, like, yes, the Olympics, like for sure that's the pinnacle, being able to represent right. your country, no of greater course. honor. Um, but being able to like play professionally, put a jersey on and play during the summer every night, like this, this wasn't even around when I was little. So I think right. like every time I put that jersey on, it was that moment like, I'm doing this, like, you know, I'm, I'm out of college, this is my job, like, my job is to play softball, like, what? Yeah. You know, and so I never took that for granted, every opportunity to be able to play, and then to see just young girls, and I think, you know, like, it's cool to be an athlete, and for them to realize how strong our bodies are, and truly, like, physically what we're capable of, we're capable of so much more than our mind can even imagine if we just put in the work, and we, do the grind, you yeah. know? Face the grind. It's funny, day. my daughter asked me one day, she, now she just started to play basketball. She asked me, she said, Daddy, can I be able to dunk like you one day? I'm like, yes, you can. Who says Absolutely. you can? Like, let's get to work. You want to dunk? Okay, let me show you how to do it. So it's pretty cool that she's It's not a gender me. thing. You can do like, anything. Yes. yes. I said, she's asking me how to dunk. I said, I'm about to see if I can really teach my daughter. I don't know how tall she's going to be, but I think if she's able to dunk at the height she's at, it's going to look unbelievable. So that's, that's our awesome. mission, right? I can't wait to see. <laughs> that's I can't our wait mission to see right it. now. Go to the stable. Let's get it. This is what we call the corral. So this is where we work all of our cattle. Mm -hmm. We have a one Wagyu bull out there and then the rest are Charlet. So they're Wagyu, Charlet mix. And then you got these two beautiful horses right here. Yeah, I heard you wanna we can get, on one. get on, let's go. It makes me nervous, but yeah. <laughs> Drew, this is Nate. What's up, Drew? How you doing, Nate? Nice, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure, my brother. Yes, sir. Names of these ones? This one's name is Roach. This one's name is Spoon. What's up? Roach and Spoon. Put, that's putting that stirrup. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't run off on me. Bring in the cowboy out of Nate. Here we go. You feel me? Welcome to the ranch. Grab, <laughs> grab, grab both foot one time. Now, where you want to go, just point in that direction. Oh, you're gonna be a cowboy in eight after this. Look out. Hey, I'm learning. Yeah, put, I don't know how to go forward. Put your hand forward, Tom. Other way. This way, guys. Yeah, that way. Hey, this is cool. You bring your kids to ride the horses, too? Yes. Not as often as we. I would like. They like it? They love it. Oh, he's over here eating. You wanna eat some more? You wanna eat some? I know. I hit mine, try to snag a little grass. Yeah, this is super cool. All right, you wanna get off these horses? Let's go get some gumbo. Let's go eat. All right, let's go. So 
So this is chicken and elk sausage. Gumbo. Let's try. After today, thank you so much. You're welcome. Because mm -hmm. we've been, look, we've been working hard all day. We have. So thank you very much. It's been much. a fun day. Thanks for coming. Yes, I appreciate you. The hospitality has been amazing. Just wait amazing. for the gumbo. The dogs already know where to go. Totally That's right. That's crazy. Uh, you're on the wrong side of the road. No, uh, ain't no cars coming. Hey, there's no cell phones out here. Country, leave your technology in the city.